Bitte! In 1994, on the occasion of the centenary of Jean Renoir's birth, the Cinémathèque Française released 86 minutes worth of outtakes and 15 minutes worth of screen tests for a day in the country. Altogether, a total of four and a half hours of outtakes had been preserved. This is the only Renoir film for which such material is available, and it proves to be a revelation. For the first time, because of the surviving production footage for a day in the country, we have evidence of how carefully Renoir planned a film and of how he worked during a shoot. The screen tests with Georges Darnoux, who will play Henri, and Sylvia Bataille, who will play Henriette, which were done on June 25, 1936, two days before shooting began, already tell us where the film is headed. We see the two actors separately and together as Renoir tries out various angles, expressions, and postures. In the first series of tests with Bataille alone, he has her laugh. And then purse her lips in the expression she will present to Darnu when their characters meet again in the film's epilogue after the passage of years. Sylvia Bataille's unforgettable performance conveys her character's trembling look of disillusionment, her quivering sense of disappointment and betrayal. The trajectory from her open expression at the beginning of the film to her closed disappointment at the end is the film's narrative arc. Shooting began on June 27, 1936, and nothing in Renoir's preparation had been left to chance. In the shooting script, dialogue has been determined, the sequences established, their location noted, the shots broken down and shot scale specified. Sets and props have been built or gathered. The clapperboard is held by Jacques Becker for the take which will be the film's first shot with the boy fishing on the bridge. That boy is Anna Renoir, Jean's 14-year-old son. For most takes, it is he whom we see holding the clapperboard and here announcing the sequence, shot, and take number. When Alain is absent, the board is usually held by Henri Cartier-Bresson, the celebrated photographer, who was the second assistant on the film and has a bit part as the second seminarian from the right 